Hi there, this is Colin, and further to a request from Mike, who's using the Genesis child theme, Centric Pro, he wants to know how to get the Beaver Builder full width on the Centric Pro theme. So here we are with a Centric Pro theme installed, and I've actually created a page with Beaver Builder. Some of you who have already used Beaver Builder will recognize the, the built-in theme or the built-in template here. And the problem is we've got all this white area around here on the full page. Now, if I go to the page builder, just make sure that I've got these set to full width. So if I go into my wrench settings here in my row, set to full width and the content it's set to fixed, but that shouldn't cause any problems. So we're just going to cancel this. I just wanted to show you that we're actually in Beaver Builder here. And as you can see, it's all set. So I'm going to click done. Probably some changes. I haven't made any changes, but the issue is that we have all this white space around here and we're certainly not going full width. So one of the things we need to do is determine where the problem is on this particular page. Now, if I press F12, that will bring up the Chrome inspector. I'm using Chrome. You can use Firebug in Firefox. And I'm going to use the little inspection tool here. Okay, and as I hover over, you'll see it actually indicates the area that I can change. So if I come down here and I want to go to div class, this is the site container. If I scroll down here, you'll notice that it actually highlights the area that I'm actually looking for. So the site inner is the area that's got the full width there. As you can see, it's, it's highlighted, it's gone full width. So if I expand that, we can go down here and you can see that the wrap is showing me there that there is a margin or padding there. So actually the peach color is a margin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that. I'm going to head on over here. My margins are on auto and I've got a max width of 1280. Now what you can do is that you can come in here in inspector and just play around, just test things a little bit. So I'm going to actually just delete this and I'm going to put this 100%. And as you can see, it's stretched out to 100% already. So now I know that I've got to change my wrap section in my CSS and change it to max width 100%. I've already got some code written for this, but I'll, I'll just go through, show you what we're doing here. So that's one thing we can change there, but we still have this area here. So let's go down a little bit further and see what we can highlight here to see where that actually is. So I'm coming down to div class. We'll go main class. There we go. That's the green area up there which is some padding okay and we can see here we've got padding 80 pixels if I actually remove that down to zero there we go we've got zero pixels there so I've, I've eliminated the padding above and the margin or the page width restrictions on the side so that's it pretty much what we need to do now is collect all these little bits of code together. And as I said, my code is a no code site. So I've already created the code for you. And we're going to go to our theme settings. And you'll see in the post below, that I've created the actual CSS you need to do this. And if we go to our appearance and then go down to editor, the easiest way to do this is to actually scroll down to the bottom. Okay. And we're actually going to control V this little bit of code in here. So I've got a comment in here that says Centric Pro Beaver Builder full width page. Okay. I've created the FL Builder. This is actually the Beaver Builder CSS identifier here, FL Builder. The site inner and site wrap obviously is the part of the CSS that I looked at there. I changed the width to 100% and I've also changed the max width to 100%. Below that, I've got the FL Builder content and I've actually put the padding to zero. So that's for the top padding we had there. So that's gone. Now, one thing I did notice is that let me just take this little bit out here and you'll see what I mean. I'm going to click update. And if I actually minimize this and bring it in, I'm going to close the inspector for a second. You'll notice that as I get down to mobile view, I've got the padding on the side. So what I did is I just wanted to make sure we've got that covered. So I'm going to go back to my editor there and that bit I just deleted I'm going to add back in, click save. It's a media query. So at 1023 pixels, it will actually collapse the left padding and the right padding down to zero. So I'm going to click update. And if I click on refresh, which is a quick F5, bring that in now, you'll notice that it stays out to the side. There's no white border there. So that's it. That's pretty much how to edit Centric Pro. It's just a matter of a few lines of CSS in the theme style sheet there. If you've got the Cobalt Apps Genesis Extender plugin, you can actually just add this to the custom CSS area in there. But the easiest way is to go into the editor, just add it to the bottom of the style sheet. And the reason it works without actually editing the style sheet is because it's one of the last things loaded. So it overrides all the other settings that are there previously. 
that's about it for today. So hope you enjoy this video. And if you've got Centric Pro and Beaver Builder, you can now have full width pages. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye now.